Recordbox is one of the most popular DJ softwares and they have an awesome iPad app and in this short video you'll learn how to get started with Recordbox for the iPad. When you first open the software you are going to see this. It's a pretty simple design, not the most fanciest, not the most high-tech software I have ever seen, but it still is great for DJing. Now the first thing you're going to want to learn with any new DJ software is how to load songs and where we could get our music from and what is our music sources. So to load up songs in this software is pretty much the same as any other software and that is up here to the top right or top left. So we're going to go press one of these on the top left or top right. And then here we go. There's a drop down menu here. These are our music sources. We have music that they give us to start with, demo tracks. Next is my music, that's the music on your device. Then we have three great streaming services, SoundCloud, Beatport, and Tidal. You can mix with millions of songs if you have a subscription to one of these softwares. I recommend Tidal streaming, but SoundCloud and Beatport are both very good. Next we have our playlist. So we, we have playlist, you press the three dots over here. You could create a new playlist. So I created this hip hop playlist. So now we're in this playlist and then to add songs we press this button over here, find the song and you can add it to playlist like that. Definitely make your playlist, organize your playlist. That's what makes great DJs is organizing their playlist and tracks. We have history. So there we go. If you want to load a song on the left, you'll find your song, press it. If you want song on the right, you'll find it, press it, load it up right there. Right there, first thing I wanna show you is the easiest button, and that is gonna be your temporary Q button. So you press it, and you have a Q button. You can get your get the beat down for a beat matching. You see a lot of DJs with CDJs pressing the button. That's what they're doing. And then if you wanna change it, move anywhere, you could scrub through the track up here with these waveforms. So we'll scrub over here, press Q, and it'll, stay wherever you set it until you pick a new spot and set it. So that's the, the Q button, temporary Q, and then play obviously is gonna play it and pause the track. Now we have these two buttons up here. They control both decks. The one on the left is going to control the EQs. So when you're DJing and you're mixing, you're gonna wanna adjust the EQs eventually. So we press this, we have a full volume slider here. We have our lows, mids, and highs. Lows, mids, and highs, and we get a gain control here. And down here is our filter. And what's cool about this software that I haven't seen in other softwares is you could actually change the filter. So you could change it from a filter to a space up, space down, noise crush. So this is what it sounds like with the filter. You have to press the on button. So that's with filter, and then we could change it to noise. Really cool. This is the only software I've seen that you could change the filter. So that's really cool. We have our EQs here. And yes, when you have this open, you do lose access to the jog wheels, but these waveforms are active waveforms, so you could scratch with them and use them as a jog wheel so you don't really lose much of the software and you get this full view of your EQs and filter. Next is going to be our sampler. This button here opens our sampler. Press edit. We could change our sampler packs over here. Effects and voice. What? 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 Hello. Pretty cool. We could change the volume. Listen, 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 so that's where we're going to find our samples. Next is a really important part of the software, and that's our BPM over here. We can change our BPM, lower the BPM, raise the BPM if you want. And there's also a key lock, so we don't get the chipmunks. Really easy to adjust the BPM, really important when you're DJing. And then press it again, and it's gone. We got a sync button for some reason. If I ever mention the sync button, people click off the video. So experiment it. Uh, experiment with the sync button on your own. Next, we have an important feature, and this is gonna open our cue points and our loops. 
So to set a cue point, we're gonna find the spot in the track. Let's just do it in the beginning right here. Press the cue point, it's gonna give you a letter from A, B, C, D, G, H, all the way to H. But if you don't like that, you could change it, press edit, press the three dots, make it any color you want. I love that you could color code the cue points. So green, and then let's make this our start cue point. I recommend finding in every track that you plan on playing, find a spot that you'd wanna start and end the track, set the cue point, label it as start, set the start in green, and set the end in red. So very easy, if you wanna delete them, you just press the delete button and you could delete them like that. Next is going to be our auto loops. So we could have an auto loop from a fourth all the way up to 32. And another important feature is the beats, beat jump. So I told you organizing your tracks is very important. So if you wanna organize and set your cue points, let's say you wanna have your mix be 16 beats. We're just gonna press 16 here. Automatically brings us to 16 beats in the, in the track. And then we could go here, set our cue point. Cue point is set. And then we could go to edit, type in 16. Now every time we load up this track, we know where 16 beats is and we can DJ accordingly. Next is going to be our our effects. So you press the effects button, you lose your drag wheel again, but we still have the, the waveforms. Three different types of effects. We have pad effects. DJ Definitely recommend testing these out on your own. We have beat effects, reverb. So choose your effect here, choose, you could adjust it over here, so four. Turn it on, turn it off, so. So we had the echo on, and then we have release effects. So vinyl break. The one I think is really cool is the backspin, so watch what happens when we press this one. Really cool that they put the backspin in. So experiment with these different effects, see what they sound like. If you guys wanna see my top DJ apps for the iPad, check it out in this video over here. Thank you.